Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to learn about the spark. You know, if you are planning to go for an interview, definitely there will be a question based upon the spark because every company is looking for the people or the candidate who is having the knowledge about the spark only. In the earlier days, when we were dealing with the Hadoop, we were using the MapReduce for the processing of the data. The biggest challenge with the MapReduce is it is really, really slow. Now, to have this problem to achieve and to solve this problem, we have come up with something called it as a Spark. Spark is an in-memory computation and you know that memory is always faster than as compared to the disk. Because the I.O. performance is really good when we are dealing with the memory. So because of that only, Spark is having a lot of advantages over the MapReduce processing part. Now, again we will try to understand what is the difference between the MapReduce and the Spark itself. In the MapReduce, we were mainly dealing with the batch processing of the data. So we were getting the data, we were processing it and we were sending it. Again in the next batch, we are getting the data, we were processing it and we were sending it to the downstream team. But let's say we have a data which is continuously coming from the you know source. So in that case, the batch processing will not be helpful. In that case, the map reduce will not be helpful. To avoid this kind of situation, in that situation what we have done, we have deal with the Spark streaming. So Spark is also coming with the batch processing as well as streaming processing, both the things it can be handled very easily. Again, next thing about the Spark is, it is 100% faster as compared to, to the MapReduce programming. Next thing is, Spark is also deal with the multiple language. You, you are be very comfortable with the Java, you can use Spark with the Java. If you are comfortable with the Spa, Scala, or Python language or R language, all those API you can use it with this Spark. This is the best advantage you can see along with the Spark. We know in the Hadoop ecosystem we have a different different components as a part of Hadoop ecosystem tool. Definitely you can use all those tools with the help of Spark itself. So th this is all about the Spark and because of that only Spark is having a very good name in the Hadoop technology world. If you have any queries, please write down into the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe and share this channel to know more about the Hadoop ecosystem. If you want me to train you, definitely you can contact me. All the details you can get it into the description section. Bye bye for the day. See you again with the next video.